welcome to my channel. My name's Kat, and today we're going to be doing this 500 piece puzzle. It is called Chunchik's Imagination Tour, and this is Chunchik. He's a little kitty, isn't he? He's so cute. I got this puzzle from my dear friend over at Yoon's blog, and she brought it all the way from Korea, so I'm super excited to do it. She does a lot of different vlogging content, both long form and shorts on YouTube. So if you're interested in some of these that you're seeing on the screen, please go check it out. It's really nice. My favorite ones are the ones that have food in them, as well as the series she's doing on her channel currently, which is the Christmas craft series. Thank you for bringing me this puzzle all the way from Korea. I thought it was perfect to do right away since it was a Christmas gift. So while it's still the Christmas season, I feel like we should open it and do it now. It is my first Korean puzzle that I'm doing. This puzzle is from the brand Cacao, which doesn't usually do a lot of puzzles that I know of, but they do a lot of different things in Korea, so I'm not surprised that they also have puzzles. Chunshik is actually one of the characters that they have in this line called Cacao Friends, which is actually what's written on this box here, Cacao Friends. All of the characters are super adorable, so if you ever want to see, I'm gonna actually put a little picture here of what some of the other characters look like. They're all so adorable. Anyway, let's open the box and see what's inside. As you saw, there was a poster that came with the puzzle, but a big surprise that came inside the box was this. At first I thought it was something similar to like a freshness packet that you sometimes see, those little beads and stuff. So I was just like, oh, I guess it's like a gel one. But it is not. I actually asked my husband, he read this for me, and it actually says it's glue. So I found that very interesting. They give you glue as well as this little spreader so that you can glue your puzzle once you're finished. I think it's very neat that they added this to the box. I've never seen this before and I've never heard of anyone getting glue with their puzzle, but I think that's awesome. Honestly, I think more puzzles should come with it because I know some people do like gluing their puzzles together. Let's get to puzzling. This time I sorted out a lot of piles. The first one was edges. Next, I sorted out the cat, edge of the cat, the sky, the buildings, the coliseum, the air balloons, and the last pile was roads and the sidewalks. I started by making the edge. Next, I decided to do the sky because it only took up one row. After that, I decided to tackle the smallest pile, which was the air balloons. I did pieces from the road pile. Slowly started to build up from there to the Colosseum and then to the cat. At this point, I wanted to spread out the remaining pieces.
remaining part with the buildings took the longest, but it surprisingly did not feel overwhelming. I really enjoyed this puzzle. I was pleasantly surprised with how good the quality is considering it's not a puzzle company. I would say the pieces are regular size, but I really like the thickness and the quality of the pieces. They feel nice and sturdy, but not really hard that you feel like you have to press them hard to actually get put them together. So they do have that flexibility to them. The pieces lock well together and it's easy to move sections around. One thing that surprised me a lot was actually the sorting aspect of this puzzle because you could easily tell apart the sky, some of the road pieces. The buildings were actually quite easy to tell apart from the Colosseum, so I was happy to be able to sort out that as two different piles. Obviously there was also the air balloons and the cat. Those were also quite easy to sort out. So. I think the puzzle was nicely divided so that it wouldn't be too difficult to sort. Even though some of the buildings throughout the puzzle do repeat, that's a little more difficult. I really enjoyed this whole process so I actually don't have anything negative to say. It was really fun. I would definitely do this puzzle again and I would recommend it to anyone. Although I'm not sure how many of you would actually go to Korea to get something like this. I'm not sure if you could buy this online but I'm excited to try different puzzles that they have from this brand, so once I go to Korea, I'll probably get more. I had so much fun doing it, and once again, thank you so much to my friend Yoon Vlogs. Please go check her channel out. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever bought a puzzle as a souvenir? Happy holidays everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!